Hey there folks, I'm Alex the Wiser Owl, and today's Prodigy This or That are the F Model S's versus the H3 V2's. So the F Model S and the H3 V2 are discs that I have a lot of experience with because I've been throwing these for a while. Um, this was one of the earlier Ace Line discs that came out and it was my favorite of that initial batch. And the H3 V2 has been out for a number of years and I've been throwing these since they came out. Let's get straight into the difference in the hand feel of them side by side. As you can see the nose on the F Model S is a little bit more blunt than the sharpness of the H3 V2. The bottom of the disc, you're gonna see a little bit more taper on the F Model S than you will on the H3 V2. When you get to the rim width, they are very, very similar. That 1011 speed rim width is just real nice because it's a nice balance of distance and control that's really gonna fit well in everybody's hand. So let's get into the flight. When you throw the H3 V2 flat, it's going to stay pretty straight and then it's going to fade. The F model, on the other hand, has got a little bit less high speed stability, so you're going to see it slide to your arm side a little bit before coming back with a consistent and reliable finish. When you throw it on a hyzer, the H3 V2 is just going to hold on to that angle and coast. It's a really floaty hyzer. It's not like the H1 V2 or the F model OS that's just going to sort of knife into the ground as it finishes. This is going to coast for a good amount of time. Same deal with the F model S. Really floaty hyzer. There's a little bit less high speed stability, so it might stand up and carry forward a little bit further than the H3 V2. But again, it's got that coasty hyzer that's still gonna finish and get a little bit of a skip at the end. The H3 V2 does pretty well on the turnover line. You can see I put a good amount of air under this. It's gonna hold that turn for a long way and then start fighting back for that nice flex line. The F Model S, you're gonna see the same sort of thing. Put it on that anhyzer and it's gonna hold that angle and then start flattening and finishing at the end. Really where the difference lies between these two molds is when you're throwing it flat, it's that high speed stability. I feel like the H3 V2, most of the stock runs have a little bit more high speed stability than these Duraflex F Model S's do. What I really like about these things and why I'm ultimately choosing the F Model S is because it flies a lot like my 750 Core Team Schusterix. And these have a little bit less of the high speed stability, so they fly more true neutral out of the box. That's what these guys are, and they're a stock run, more readily available. Plus, they come in a baseline plastic, which beats up a lot quicker, so they can also be a turnover control driver if you're someone like me who likes cycling the same disc for different shots. If you're interested in trying either of these discs out, you cannot go wrong. Check them out at prodigydisc.com, infinitediscs.com, or any other place that sells Prodigy's line. If you've liked this video, like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, play wiser.